question to answer your question as you bleed build travel to the lands between by conventional means the normals you travel with experience malfunctions as you realize all that is left is total destruction. Do you bleed, build, show self-pity? Do you bleed, build, try to reason? Why do you bleed, build? Try and comfort the normals that have even more fear than you. Or do you bleed, build? Kick the doors out, kick the cockpit door down, take the two pilots that have already made the sacrifice so that you can face the challenge. Dispose of them, bleed, build. Assume the controls, bleed, build. Shove that control into a nosedive, bleed, build. Push yourself to total self-destruction. As you realize, bleed, build, you are about to enter a world close to parts unknown. Ah, smell it, boys, boys. Do you bleed, Bill? Look for a place to hide. Or do you bleed, Bill? Face the challenge that may be more powerful than even you are. Bleed, Bill. You bleed, Bill. Must self-destruct so that you will know. Bleed, Bill. Who is the chosen one? For bleed, Bill. I am not the chosen one that you speak of. I am not. I bleed, Bill, am the only one. Bleed, Bill, I speak to you, bleed, Bill, as you have caused interference in my pathways as I try to communicate to my poised warriors, to my strength builds. You, Bleed Bill, control a force around you that I am only beginning to understand. But each of the challenges before me, I never did understand. I never tried to understand, for they were only battles that I finished before they became war. In the lands between, bleed, Bill, I guess I got rid of two normal pieces of litter and my back was turned to you, bleed, Bill. I knew that you wouldn't come from behind like the other. I felt the Katana Maniacs reach out and try to grab, exterminate from the poise boys that were clung onto me. Things that hang from my body and the reason I wear heavy armor. Only add more area for more poise boys to hang on. You bleed me. See things as you will, but I need not come from behind or take a cheap shot at anyone or anything. You bleed, Bill. 
will only be approached by the strong boys and the poor warriors face to face. I, I bring you, Bleed Bill, the one and only Strong Boy Challenge. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Saint Riot, and uh, just brought you some some more invasions from my strength build, my my old school poise boy. I've put some new weapons on the build for these invasions, as you can see. Got some new abilities on those weapons, as you can see. And just really wanted to give you guys, you know, um, some good commentary. Like I always do. So, welcome back. More Elden Ring PvP. Random invasions. And uh, just having a good time. You know? Just out here having a little fun. Like we like to do. Just regular, normal things. It's a good time. And uh, I like swinging the big sword. I think it's cool. This build is level 79, and it's got plus 14 weapons, which I fully intend at some point to make plus 15 weapons. I just s never do it, because I just end up invading all the time. The Jar Cannon has been a big hit with uh, strength builds in Elden Ring. I paused because of the pun. I wanted to give you time to laugh or grimace. Whichever, you know, you prefer. And it rules, the Jar Cannon. It's great. It's great fun. Uh, a really solid addition to, uh, to Elden Ring. I love it. It's like a great bow. You know, in Dark Souls 3, I, I loved the great bow uh, and the obscuring ring and using those to fight people, uh, you know, who wanted to just camp near a, a grace or well, a bonfire back then but now a grace really enjoy the jar cannon is what I'm getting at I think everybody does it's uh, it's just really good um, the fire thing I was talking about the fire I, I want to make sure this is this is clear fire scales with strength but uh, if you would like it to scale with faith it still can if you put a uh, Ash of War with a flame type um, ability on it, you can choose to give it flame art infusion. And if you do flame art, it scales with faith. If you choose fire, it scales with strength. So, fire works for both of those. Uh, I guess you could even do like a, um, well, I, I guess maybe they did that so that you don't like have strength builds, like strength faith builds with fire. Uh, because if it's scaled with, you know, strength and faith, either one of them, fire or flame art, uh, that might be pretty, uh, that might be pretty busted. Um, I guess that's why they split it up. Not sure. Um, but it's a lot of fun for the strength build and does a lot of damage. It is worth considering that uh, if you are in a wet area, People's fire defense goes up while they are while they are uh, soaked, so that's something to consider. However, you can craft um, oil urns in this game. They require melted mushrooms, which you can get in the underground area. Uh, the melted mushrooms and the cracked pots, not the ritual pots, the cracked ones, the small ones. You now, in theory, those if you hit someone with an oil urn. Uh, your next, in, in Bloodborne, the way it worked, uh, the next attack after you hit someone, um, if you hit them with a fire attack after an oil pot, uh, it did, you know, a, a huge uh, increase in damage. Now, in Elden Ring, I'm not sure how much damage, you know, how much extra damage you're going to get. I'm not sure. Uh, you're better off using a pure fire uh, attack rather than a split damage fire attack. So, you know, if you're hitting somebody with a, a weapon, and that weapon is split damage between physical and fire, the oil urn is not going to pop off as hard as if you had just hit someone with fire. For example, best case scenario, 
would be to hit someone with an oil urn and then use flaming strike. Uh, and when you hit them with the fire, it's going to do a bunch of damage. Um, or hit them with uh, flame of the red mains. Uh, that's going to do a bunch of damage. In theory, I haven't tested any of this. Um, I've used oil urns and I've thrown them at people, but because of the way invasions go uh, in this game, at any given point, I am only 50% aware of what's happening all around me because everything is crazy. Uh, it's really, you know, it's a crazy game when you think about it. And uh, to be able to just make a video like this with perfectly normal commentary, uh, you know, that's, it's uh, almost absurd, right? But that's what we do here. We just say normal things. We just say normal, regular uh, words, and we look at footage of invasions. Player versus player. That's what this YouTube channel is all about. And it's what it will always be about. Because I believe in traditional values, like saying normal things. And, um, you know, uh, just being a normal. And here we go. Check this out. New weapon. It's the Rotted Great Axe. This thing is a colossal weapon. It doesn't count as a Great Axe. It counts as a colossal weapon. So you can't power stance it with other Great Axes, which I, I learned uh, after trying it out. This weapon right here is actually, some of you might know, Vapid Raptor. Vapid Raptor, uh, notorious tryhard, very efficient player. Uh, this weapon is there pick of the week for most efficient weapon. They said that it was the dream maker and that uh, it was the one that kept um, all of life uh, being worth living. Pretty, pretty strong words from Vapid Raptor who said those things and feels that way. Check out Wild Strikes on this Iron Greatsword. It's hilarious. I was able to poise through the negative ion field created by that powerful warrior's sword. Now I know those words sounded uh, like, you know, strange nonsense, but they were not nonsense. Those were real things that happened. Every word I have said in this video has been real and worth thinking about as a real Thing that happened in history and in time because it's accurate and it's been fact-checked and it was found to be true jar cannon how fun is that how fun is this thing Pew. the the only thing wrong with the jar cannon is that it's extremely difficult to shoot down it shoots straight great it shoots up really good. I wanted to, uh, you know, straight, great, rhymed. So I was thinking up, cup. But that doesn't make sense. So I'm not going to say it. Why would I ever say words that don't make sense? There's a heavy attack. Fully charged. Uh, and it, it beat that guy in one hit. Here's some more wild strikes. Notice how this other big, strong boy appeared and then got on his knees for us. He saw that we were the true big boy and that he was, you know, he was a big boy, but he had a lot to learn. He wasn't a lesser big boy. He's just, he's a fresh new big boy. Look at this, swinging that big boy sword. It's a big boy sword made of big boy swords. And it doesn't get any more big than that. But uh, he got ate up by that big woman. And sometimes, maybe that's a little metaphor for life. Sometimes in life you have friends, and when they get girlfriends, they just sort of, you know, they kind of become harder to hang out with. Because, you know, they're very excited to be in a relationship uh, with their new um, big, swinging, spiraling, pizza cutter uh, woman who has snakes inside of her. And so that's what they, you know, they're, they're, that's okay. 
you know, it's important to remember that they don't think any less of you. They're just making space for the new part of their life. Now, this lesser big boy right here disgusts me. Uh, he makes me absolutely disgusted. And I enjoy watching uh, this, this pizza cutter woman uh, just pick him up with her snakes and eat him. That's what deserves to happen to big boys who use bleed builds uh, and katanas and things like this. They deserve this. This is uh, what they get. Yeah. But uh, enough of that. Let's not focus on the negative. Let's focus on the positive. For example, how great is Giant Hunt? It's just so much fun to just blast a guy as hard as you can, full force, and just thrust him into the air. That's so, that's so good. I love it. Running out of stamina? Bad. Losing all your blood? Bad. Not good. But everything else? Super great. Super duper great. Earthshake on the Watchdog Greatsword. Super great. Thanks for watching my video. You've been super great. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more normal commentary on regular things. Later, y'all.